This tutorial demonstrates how to create a layout that contains several maps. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a layout that shows the continental United States, Alaska, and Hawaii, and also includes some tabular data from a data view. I've already created a map that shows median household income by county, and a data view with the counties with the highest and lowest income. To create the new layout, choose Tools, Reports, New Layout. Maptitude creates a new layout using your default printer settings. Click the Properties button to make changes to the layout page and printer. In this dialog box, you can change the printer to use, change the page size, create a layout that spans multiple sheets of paper, and change the orientation. I'm going to change this layout to a landscape page and click OK. You can also click the Layout Option button, where you can choose to show rulers, turn on a grid, choose to snap items to the grid, and set the grid interval. For example, I will turn on the rulers in the grid and set it to display at quarter inch intervals. Now that the layout is set up, use this tool on the drawing toolbar to place a map or data view on the layout page. If the drawing toolbar is not visible, choose Edit, Drawing, Toolbar. Drag a rectangle on the page where you'd like an item to be located. Then choose the item you want to place on the layout. Note, one of the options is an empty frame. You can make a template using empty frames and then add maps to the empty frames later on. But I'm going to go ahead and place the map on the layout page. There's some additional options here. When these first two boxes are not checked, what you see in the map will be what you get in the layout. If the page is very big or small, then your map will be enlarged or shrunk to fit the frame you dragged. But it will continue to show the exact same map extent. If you choose to keep the actual point sizes, then point symbols, line widths, and label sizes will not change. More or fewer items may be labeled depending on the map size and the layout. If you choose to keep the scale fixed, then this map, where 1 inch equals 500 miles on the screen, will continue to be 1 inch equals 500 miles on the printed page. More or less of the map may be visible depending on the map size and the layout. This final option lets you choose whether or not to keep the map aspect ratio of the original map, despite the shape you drew with the place tool. For example, the original map is a landscape rectangle, but I drew more of a square shape with the place tool. If I uncheck this, then the map will fit the shape that I drew. To demonstrate some of these options, I'm going to choose to print at a fixed scale and uncheck the Keep Maps Aspect Ratio box. Maptitude places the map to fill the shape that I drew and keeps the scale at 1 inch equals 500 miles. If I now use the pointer tool to change the size of the map, you'll see that the scale stays the same and more of the US will be visible. I'm going to delete this map. and place it again. But change these options so that the map will be what you see is what you get, or WYSIWYG. Now Maptitude fits the entire map at the original aspect ratio within the shape that I drew. Notice that now if I change the size of the map, everything is rescaled so that it continues to look like the map in the original map window. Now I'm going to double click on the map to create another map window that is a duplicate. I'll use the Find tool to find Hawaii. And I won't need a second legend in the layout, so I'm going to hide this legend. And finally, I like to adjust the size of the map relative to the other maps in the layout, so I'll adjust the size of this window. Now let's go back to the layout and use the Place tool to place the second map of Hawaii. Now I'm going to go back to my map of Hawaii and find Alaska. I'll make this window a little larger. And I'm also going to change the map projection to something that works a little better with Alaska. So I'll click the Properties button, uncheck the Auto Projection box, and change the projection to one that works better at the polar regions. Now I'm going to once again place a frame on the layout and choose the Alaska map.
and I'm going to use the Place tool one last time and add the data view. You can use the Drawing tools to add a title to the map like this. or to add an image, such as a logo, like this. Right-click on an item and choose Properties to make modifications. For data views, you can choose whether or not to frame the data view, and you can choose the font, size, and style to use. For maps, you can choose whether or not to display a border, and choose the border style. And for titles, you can modify the text or change the font, size, style, color, and frames. Finally, you can use the pointer tool and alignment buttons to arrange all the items on the page exactly as you want. For example, I'll use the pointer tool to move the map over a little, and shift click on the title to select it too, and then click the left align button to align the map and title. Continue to arrange the items in the layout using the pointer tool and the alignment buttons until you get it just the way you want. When you're finished, click the print button to print the layout. You can also save the layout to an image file. For example, I could create a JPEG file of this layout to insert into a Word document or a PowerPoint slide by choosing File, Save As, choosing JPEG as the file type, and entering a file name. Now if I bring up Word here, and insert the picture, you can see the layout exactly as I created it in Maptitude. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating layouts.